But all right, let us continue on part three of our Diablo playthrough. We're gonna go ahead and start a game called Act to start now. Uh, with maybe, okay, let's go to create game. Hopefully we can create it. Awesome, first try. It's because the game is still kind of having some issues uh, with like uh, logging in and getting everything to run perfectly smooth. So yeah, let's uh, continue. And uh, what we're gonna do in this part of our play session is we are going to get as far as we can in act two, but uh, we just gotta start walking right out and we're gonna get to the dry hills and we're gonna go to Halls of the Dead. This is gonna start off on the Rocky Waste. Um, there's also another quest that we can do in the sewers. I'd like to have some more people with because um, that area can be kind of rough earlier on. Uh, once we get to level 17 though, I can do it on my own because I'll have that armor that we crafted in the last part. And if you do need to get the runes, remember the Black Marsh, go to the tower and that's where you go. I think we might be able to get a belt upgrade too. But watch out for some of the lightning enchanted enemies here, as uh, they can get kind of annoying. Oh, so you, so you saw how the enemy froze. I think it's the first time I'm actually mentioning it, but that frost uh, armor, it's called frozen armor. Um, that's what allows us to uh, freeze the enemies, which is awesome. One thing that we'll try to prioritize getting eventually on all, all my characters, I like to get it. Technically, it's optional, but it's I cannot be frozen. Um, there's a rune called a cham rune you can put on the helmet, but it's kind of an expensive thing, so we won't get it for a really, really long time. But yeah, we're going to be using stealth at level 17, and that will significantly help our survivability and our mobility, because um, being able to move very fast is also technically like a, a defensive stat. Oh, uh, our mercenary died again. Unlucky, but it happens. It's it's gonna happen until we maybe get them a stealth as well, or just some extra good stats. An so unlike in Act One, Akara, which she's the one they talk to to heal, um, we will talk to Farah to heal. Yes, citizen. Oh, I don't even have enough gold to bring back our guy. Ooh, that's no good. Uh, how much gold do I actually have in my stash? Because I might just sell. I have like one gem. Usually you'd want to keep your gems. Um, the, I just use them earlier on. Okay, we can maybe sell that. Okay, hopefully we can get our guy up. <laughs> the reason why is like, the mercenary is gonna be super valuable because uh, we are by ourselves right now. Hopefully we can get some people to join up and it'll make things significantly easier. But a lot of people will already have the cube quest done, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab the cube first, and then I'm gonna try to join someone else that will have like the far oasis waypoint. Um, and that will help out significantly. Yeah, these guys over here, the dung soldiers. When you hit them, they just have lightning come out. It's no fun to deal with. Eventually though, our mercenary will no longer die once we get some life leech. So we should be coming up to dry hills and we're gonna be looking for um, the halls of the dead. Oh, that's the wrong potion. That was this one we need. Use the thawing potion, which is actually pretty helpful on the boss. There's a crystal sword, but we need to get a crystal sword from uh, an area called the cows. All right, hold on. This could this could be our next big ring. Could be the ring that we need, which is faster cast rate, magic damage reduced by one. Not too useful right now, really. There we go. He's got the prayer aura. The reason why I spam two of my potions right there is just so I can have uh, room for the mana potion. Okay, let's keep on going. What is his weapon right now? Later we can try to give him uh, a weapon. Uh, we'll give him an insight, which will increase our mana regen. But that will not be for a long time. 
<laughs> At least not in this part. So yeah, we're in the dry hills. Uh, here we go, Hall to the Den. Put TP up here, just in case we die, because I didn't actually get the waypoint. Uh, there is a waypoint at level two here. Whoops. I'm gonna actually create another one. extra warm and once we hit level 19 that's where we're gonna be really really powerful so yeah, act 2 is kind of a, a big area for our progression and once we get to act 3 you can do some like boss farming as well This area has lots of urns that you can actually click on to open up to. It's almost kind of like a chest. Why do I fireball in both slots? It's just because I like the feel of right click and you can't put static field, which is the only other skill that I use. Well, I, I use frost armor too, but I just use that once. But uh, it just feels better. I, I honestly like playing this game with a controller. Because I play lots of other games too, and so like my hand gets tired of clicking, especially with left mouse button. You can actually buy some stamina potions since we're like. Oh, another thing is if you continue to like move when you're out of stamina, it won't like actually reach on. Whoops! I just wasted like a bunch of portals. I'm gonna plug in a controller pretty soon. My hands are just tired from playing Fortnite because that game requires a lot of um, pushing buttons. With controller, it also auto aims, so it gives you a huge advantage too. But yeah, fire. Ooh, that's our first charm I think that we've gotten. And always keep jewels no matter what, unless you're selling them. Because like, I know we had some okay jewels, but I sold them to get like the staff that we have. But you can use them for crafting later, so we can save them. And I'll, I'll show a brief amount of crafting. So this is a charm. What it does, and this is our first one. You want to pick up all the charms up, and the reason why is because the charms give you free stats, but they use up your inventory. So like this stamina one is pretty bad, like later in the game, because well, like right now we have 127. Will I use it? Sure, why not? Ideally, you want charms that will grant you life or any damage in the very beginning, specifically getting things that would give you plus uh, any amount of cold damage, unless you're doing like some item find barbarian or you need the corpse to exist. It's just nice because it will shatter them, and then there's a lot less things that can go on because the corpse is shattered. Oh, there's another grand charm, huh? There we go. If you kill these sarcophaguses, it'll stop the guys from spawning in. It's kind of like a, a portal for them. But if we can get a, um, a few extra runes, what we're going to be able to do is... Oh, awesome, this guy just entered. Okay, and he joined our party. And we're gonna say TP, uh, TP up. Oh, that's really bad. The servers are still, I'd say, probably pretty stressed out. All right, so we're gonna identify this and see what we get. 12 life, that's really good. It's like 10%. All right, we are good. So now what we're gonna do is uh, go to Halls of Dead level two. Act two, yes, we are in act two. How do you get a mini-map? Oh, sure. So under the options, um, what you can do is go under gameplay, and there is uh, an option for a mini-map. Mini-map size, mini-map right. Yeah, by default, I wish it was enabled. The The small one is definitely more favorable. Are they over here? You can see, you can see what other, oh, he's, he's doing sewers. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's one of the quests that we will need to do. Sometimes people will start other quests, which is really nice. And I will show you guys uh, that area. Got the chip ruby. So what we're looking for, we can get the waypoint here. Um, yeah, what are we? 16? So at uh, 18, we need to get this, so we already put one point into that. That's fine. Uh, eventually, we do want to get Meteor, but that's not for a while. So, we'll just put more points into Fireball. Oh, it's a trap. You can see that there's holes on the floor, and that's 
Uh, oh, wait, hold on. See how many sockets this is. Yeah, like two sockets? Sure. I'm not sure if we're gonna get anything really better than that. We can check the vendors, but. Oh, there's another charm in the truck, which is awesome. Let's help our guy. small charmers. Ten to, wow, that's a really good one for like this early on in the game. So we just increased our life by 20. Here we got Halls of the Dead. Nice. Where's this guy? Halls of the Dead. Level one. Uh, level two. So hopefully he'll make his way over. So the other guy, is, is he still starting sewers? Okay. Type in TP up. So uh, what the sewers quest does, because we will do all the important quests in the playthrough. Sometimes it's more efficient to do them out of order. Well, the reason why I'm not doing this one is because this, in order is because um, the sewers is a little bit tough to do it solo until we get some extra like items. But not look, look. Do you see that that lobby where all sorceresses? It's because it's so good in the very beginning. I'm gonna consume some of these potions because I don't need this many, and because we have. Uh, multiple people here. Uh, I want to be able to pick up the items that drop Because it's every man for themselves Which is one thing I really think they should have thought about changing. Oh, we're, get, we're getting charms like crazy now uh -huh. uh, Attack rating is absolutely useless for our character. You can save it for another character, but uh, it's it's really not that necessary uh, People generally want small. Oh, that's a pretty decent charm actually for act like for the earlier games because fire damage is like one of the most common damage damage types in Diablo at least in like the very beginning Let's see if this wolf heads any good firestorm and werewolf it's level three you know, I probably will make a drill I, I will make every single character but I'm probably gonna end up getting like other lower level gear. And these guys are a little bit slow, which is kind of unfortunate. Sometimes, if you notice, like people are, are kind of slow in the game, it doesn't really matter too much early on. But people will leave the group if the the players are too slow. It definitely happens. I am but don't be too worried about it if you, know, if you feel like you know you need to take your time. Oh, he finally just had to turn on his heal aura. Yeah, I wish the mercenaries at least also got their bugs fixes. And they, they, what they should do is just force it to make it so it's always active. Because it is really annoying to want the uh, aura. And you just don't get it. That's a good paladin item. I'm going to pick that up if I can. Oh, it's already gone. You gotta be fast. So, don't worry about picking this up. This isn't something that uh, lots of other people will pick up and they'll lose out on it. Because it'll drop one for everyone. So, what this item does is it grants you the ability to, um... Good evening. Uh, craft. So, what it is, is a, it's a cube that has... It only is four, but it actually opens up a much bigger... Uh, slot over here, which is a four by three. So It's kind of cool. Some people like to keep it on them at all times I just throw mine in there because um, I want my like extra room for charms later um, But I'm gonna see if we can let's go put that in there as well. Uh, we have a ring uh, We're just gonna sell these for some extra gold uh, okay. I like to keep all my charms on like the right side here and then we're gonna go throw in all the chip gems. We'll, we'll use some of them maybe later for crafting, but I'm also completely out of scroll of identities, so I'm gonna rebuy those and also buy like two stamina potions here, just so I'll have access to that later. You're playing a paladin early on there. You find them to be boring. Uh, a paladin doesn't get really get fun until you get like charge and zeal, I would say. But there's a lot of people like to play hammerdens, and I think hammerdens. Hammerdens and anything that uses smite, like Paladin is definitely the best class in the game. I, I would I would argue that, and I think most people that play Diablo 
Unless you're like, oh, I want to just do PvP, because I could definitely see the argument of Assassin being one of the best PvPers. But Welcome to the desert I'm gonna look for uh, any weapons. Uh, like, let's see, it's, uh, it's one to six fire, seven hundred. I don't even know if we can get a. Th I don't know, can you get a three socket? We need a pull arm. Oh, does someone have a waypoint for sewers? Okay, so we're, what we're looking for is like an item for our... Oh, we can! A three socket. Uh, let's see if we can get this slow attack speed. Oh, we have fast attack speed. Oh. Uh, 15 and 23. And the difference. The reason why is like sometimes getting a fast weapon is better because if I'm adding a lot more damage onto something, like if I'm adding a route... Right now we're going to keep the route rune. I had some of these from my other... Uh, character I can throw in like with if some if runes what else do we have it here I mean I could give a pretty decent amount of like extra max damage I just throw in a bunch of if runes um, and 20 poison I mean I can definitely use the poison damage so I'm just gonna throw this in and it's just it's just really early on so he can have something I can't use that yet oh so what does he need 50 strength oh level 15 all right so he'll be able to use this relatively soon um, Unlucky for us, but no biggie. Uh, so yeah, once we gain another level, oh wait, uh, I think they're doing rocky ways. Um, so we can start doing sewers and they can start doing that. But I kind of should show you guys all the areas though. Looks like they're just venturing out from there, which did we get the halls of the dead waypoint? We did. I think it's gonna be faster. Well, we can see. Cause I can go to the dry hills and it'll be like kind of deeper in dry hills. So they're just walking out from town. So what we need to do now is get to far oasis. Um, I don't know if they want to do sewers. I don't know if there's that hotkey. Okay. It looks like it's different. It used to be like, I believe S for like social. Oh wait, we need, we need to go to level one, which is this way. So they're all in rocky waste. Well, let's see. Actually, we should just go back now at this point. Uh, so we'll say TP, and then hopefully someone will make a TP. Can you only do steel rune word on scimitar? Could it be any? I believe. Um, Oh, what the heck? He, he came through my TP. What? Um, let me like link you that because I don't want to be wrong on any of these things. Um, there's actually if you go to like the uh, so if you go to oops, that's me in XL room words. I'm waiting for TP anyways, so hopefully they will send that. But if you use this website, which I'm gonna link in the chat, steel is swords, axes, and maces. So you have a few options. Some room words that you can do everything. But yeah, hopefully that will answer you. Hello, Fart. How are you doing? Uh, okay. No TP still. What are they? Where are they in? St okay, so we have Halls of the Dead, Stony Tomb, Rocky Ways. Everyone's just kind of all over the place. How's YouTube runs going? It's, it's going good. Just uh, making a source first. We're doing like a playthrough here. I mean, do I just walk myself? Yeah, they're in rocky ways. Sometimes people just don't make TPs. It's very, very rare. But well, I'm gonna go check. By now, there should be someone that does it. I guess we're just gonna use my own TP. We'll go back. Uh, <coughs> but um, to complete this quest, you only need one person to actually craft the staff. You're gonna get the one part of the staff, you basically get uh, an amulet and like the staff part, and then you combine them and then make it makes like a, a special item. But I will make a new TP. I guess I have to do it for them. There's gonna be a bunch of newer players. I'm just more surprised that there was no one that made a TP. That's like real basics. Oh, you're getting wrecked in hell. So in hell difficulty. You're going to need to get a lot more defenses. I don't know what class you're playing, but you can look into getting some sort of block chance. But more likely, it's your resistances that are a problem. 
If you're playing Sork though, I mean, you can get Mana Shield. I actually like it. Some people don't like it. I think it's absolutely like a must if you want to like take the game seriously for PvP because having that extra source of like health that basically regenerates is huge. Did, they, did he make a TP that's like close by? Sometimes, you know, I'm guessing it might be lagging and maybe people can see it or whatever, but he said thanks, so I'm wondering if um, there is a rocky TP, because we can go, okay, there we go. Okay, fine, this just took a while. Okay, once our adversary levels up one more time, which this is his little XP bar, Oh, there we go. Pick up the jewel. Oh, yeah. They're like further behind where I was. I just don't know why they didn't go into my TP. But we're going to go pop a stamina potion now. Enhanced damage. Oh, nice. I think that they're not understanding the pathing. I'm just going to get to the next area myself. I'm so used to holding all of this just like an instinct for me. I need to not do it though. Are the rune words for only game? No, the rune words are the best items in the entire game. No question. Uh, in a lot of categories. There are some items that you can craft and there are some items that you just have to find. But to get some of these items to be better than rune words is astronomically rare. Like I'm talking like you play this game for years and you probably won't see them. Like. You need you need basically like one in a thousand of all these things to roll like to be correct and have the right stats. So what's in town? Oh, tran 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 tran. Mmm, it's gone. Let's see, that's one thing that that's the downside of playing with a party though. The upside is you get to play in a group. It's much faster and it's more enjoyable overall. But melee characters will definitely have an advantage. Unless you play a caster and you just want to go right up to him, which you can do as well. So yeah, we're going to look for the Far Oasis. But the monsters are supposed to get harder. It honestly doesn't really make it that much harder. Like some bosses will be harder, but most of the other like trash monsters, it's really not that big of a deal. The loot, you forgot the loot was shared. Yeah, it's... I wish that, like, if I could change one thing on this game, like, if I was someone that could do it for the sake of... I think that they would do much better off with that. But if you think about it, the, there there would be a lot more loot in the game. Which, to me, isn't really necessarily a bad thing. It's just that I could see... Like, a player that's never played Diablo 2 before, they're like, what the heck, this is dumb. And it could discourage them from playing, and you don't want that, right? Okay, did we find out where to go? Nope. The thing with Act 2 and the reason why a lot of people feel like it, it's like one of the worst acts to play. I think Act 3 is the worst though. Like if I had to like say which act is the worst for Diablo, definitely 3. The reason why is just, there's just so many little small slivers and if you don't have teleport, which we, we will have teleport because we're playing Sorceress. Um, other classes that can get teleport, like a fake teleport, um, the assassin can get it. Um, Barbarian gets leap, but leap is kind of awkward to use. That's really slow sometimes. Uh, yeah, I would say the only other class that basically gets teleport. Yeah, I think it's just assassin. Like every class can get teleport because of an armor, um, but it's super expensive and like, you're not gonna get the item early on. Paladin gets an ability called charge, just charges into the target. But you don't get like a um, a really good a, a mobility ability. I mean, yeah, you could you can charge around, but you won't have the mana to sustain more than likely until you get 
insight, which will have like meditation on it. Okay, cool, he found it. So if someone says here, that means usually what you do is you teleport towards them. See, if I just walked right outside the halls of the dead and went right over here, we would be already right there. And that was five minutes wasted. Actually, I want to grab the stamina potion. Activate our buffs. And we got the ring, nice. Ooh, perfect. Did our guy level up too? No. Okay, level 17. Next level. Next level. We okay, so this level we're not gonna use our skill points. Oh, the amulet. Ooh, we got it. I think we got it. Yes, sir. Two to minimum damage. That's actually like pretty nice and usable. But we're just gonna sell it. I probably are. Uh, so what is it? All three. I, can, I want to use it for my assassin. So we'll definitely do that. I heard a gem drop, but it's, there's no way we're going to get it. Not that it really matters. Oh, Cestus. Oh, no. Oh, he tried to pick it up. See, if I was on control, I think I would have got it. It's unlucky. See, that again, that's like... It was for his class, though, so it's like, yeah. That's good. He got it. I would have taken it for sure. But the thing is, when there is more players in the game, the amount of items will technically be better. So we have Lost City. Uh, I don't know if they want to do the other one first. Because there's two areas that you can go to. You can go to the Valley of Snakes, or you can go in the far oasis and look for what's called the Maggot Lair. They, we might be splitting up too. It's smarter to split up, but I'm guessing most people won't want to do that in the very beginning. But it's a little hole in the ground, but it will also be like purple on the mini map. So all we gotta do in Act 2, once you're in the far oasis, is just look for that little uh, hole in the ground, and you go inside the hole and you get to one of the most annoying areas in multiplayer. It definitely is annoying. And the reason why is because it's a very narrow area. And basically, if the person that's in the front isn't really moving, it becomes very annoying. Or if the person in the front is a caster and they want to walk backwards, and the rest of the team is like, no, go forward, because the melee people won't be able to really do anything from the back. Um, in a lot of Diablo mods, what they did is made the thing so wide that it doesn't matter. But it is like a, a very iconic area. You're trying to get yourself a monarch shield? Yeah, you're gonna have to wait for hell difficulty for that. So it won't uh, it won't be there for a while. Yeah. Looks like we're all looking for it. The best thing to do is kind of split up. And then once you find it, you say my TP. And then you can type in also what it is. Oh, we're out of stamina again. Okay, oh, there we go. My get later. You see it? Uh, my TP. For the maggot later. There we go. And I ideally actually, I can go back to town. Eh, does he have a? No, he's not leveled up yet. The reason why I want, I want, I want them to go first is because I'm not melee. It's kind of annoying, but I, I will guess I will go first because they're they're just kind of slow. I mean, I'm not I'm not doing any speed run here. It's because I've been playing the game for a while. But the reason why is the melee people don't get to actually play. And these guys in particular are no fun. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Now he's good. he gets to go first. Um, ideally, you want... Well, most of us are sorcerers, but there is a paladin and there's an assassin in our group. But if you think about it, the person in the front gets to get all the items. But also, they get to die and drop all of their gold. And one of these guys will probably end up dying. And you get to see how much fun it is. But when they die and you pick up the gold, it, it does share the gold with everyone. Because that's how it works in a group. You do share gold, but you don't share loot. Basically, it's every man for themselves for the loot.
But the sewer quest will do two things. It will lower the vendor price for all the uh, things. We can we can hopefully do sewers as well. See, he doesn't want to go first, and now I'm. Oh, oh! I opened up a trap. Sorry. What we need is the paladin to go first, but I think we're all kind of splitting up, which is fine. See, he doesn't want to go first. <laughs> okay, it's fine. I'll, I'll go first. The best thing to do is to split up because there's so many areas in the maggot layer. But it's specifically because these guys are so annoying with the lightning that comes out. I wanted to go back when my mercenary hit 15. Oh, perfect. Now my mercenary can actually do damage, which is going to be great. We still need to actually craft the, a helmet with two tier runes for extra mana because this thing isn't very good. Do I have two? Oh, I have two tier runes. I probably have... Do I have three? Oh, I have three tier runes. Okay. Do I have a skull cap that has... Ooh, three to energy? Ooh, nice. Oh, another thing is you can't actually, uh, they made it so you don't accidentally do this, which is actually a pretty nice thing to have. Wait, what? Oh, this doesn't have sockets. Oh, never mind. Can you not do this? Oh, no, you can. I'm gonna say that's a cool update. That's actually a pretty helpful one. Um, I could have crafted in another helmet. It's like a small amount of defense. It doesn't really matter too much. But let's go throw these in. Like I said, feel free to keep all jewels and stuff for other characters as well. But I want to throw this on our mercenary. I'll put that there we go. Use. So our mercenary now does 46 to 113. To so much better. Uh, Maggot Lair. Oh, he's already at level 3. Perfect. Hopefully they didn't... Okay. So we're already at level 3, which is awesome. So basically you go from level 1 to... Oh, you know what? We kind of should repair. But I want to show you this because it's actually important. Oh. Does he not want to go first or something? Or what's going on? I didn't even buy mana potions. But now we have mana on kill. Who's going first, though? The sword. I have a trap assassin. Nice. I want to split. Okay, that's, that's level two. I'll show you what it looks like for level like one and two. So, it's kind of hard to see, but... You can see on the mini map, but basically yeah, we, we go from level one to level three. Okay, we'll create the TP. When someone says TP, you just say my, my TP. That way they know it's like, which one. Hello, Ben. Ben, how are you doing? Oh, we just hit 18. Oh, oh wait. We're, yeah, we're just at 18. I can't move, though. I should actually be using my armor as well. But we'll use it when we get back to town. No biggie. There's a giant bug at the very end over here. We'll be an awesome teammate, and we will use static field on him. And see how it just reduces his health by a lot. And we're going to pick up the Staff of Kings. Oh, does the hell have two sockets? Oh, that was unlucky. I could have had, I could have had a couple more defensive stats, but it's, it's really no big deal. On a, uh, a cool thing in Diablo is poison can never kill you. It will only reduce your HP to one, and you'll just have one HP. But it can never actually kill you. But if you talk to Ferris, you'll get rid of it. If you also want to get an antidote, you can get that as well. Um, so this is the Staff of Kings. It's not really like that great, other than all resistances. Um, but uh, it is an item we will use later. Okay, so we are actually level... We should actually be looking for a staff. I'm going to throw all of my gold inside of the... Actually, I'm just going to grab these out of the way. Uh, these are mine anyways. Okay, so what we should be looking out for is specific... We'll go back to Akara. Um, but yeah, we can use our 
our stealth now and we can move faster, which is gonna be really nice. What we're gonna do is go back to act one um, because level 19 is coming up and that lets us use leaf. So it's a tier in a RAL room and it will give us massive stats, but I'm hoping that we can have enough gold to maybe get something good. Greetings. We also need to repair our items, but we need a staff with two sockets. I cannot have three. How's Jalen treating me? It's all right. We haven't gotten like any insane drops or anything, but it's fine. So we're going to go to Charcy and we're going to repair all of our stuff. Throw the gold back in. We also can get teleport now and we're going to get enchant. So it's going to be a nice little boost for us. Throw the gold here. Not here. Okay, so we'll go back. He said his TP. So I'm hoping he'll, he's gotten to the Lost City and then the Valley of Snakes. Lost City, there we go. Perfect. So he, he just made it from Far Oasis and just walk over. This is the this is Far Oasis. So yeah. And now we can finally get teleport. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bind it to something. And we can also do this. Do I have oh, no, I didn't bind it to T. Uh, I'm gonna bind it A S. I can do A4. I'm gonna do some keybinds here. For the other skills. Uh... Oh, I have this for skill tree. Um I can do like Y U or G U. Okay, that's fine. That'll give us enough. Okay, so I'll use Y for teleport. And then we will have that, and then you for this. So uh, this will also increase the mercenary's damage. If we look at the damage, 46 to 113, gives them extra damage. We can also do it on ourselves. It's kind of pointless though, other than it looks cool. Uh, but what we want to do it is on the melee characters. Um, what's the duration on it early on though? Oh, it's like two minutes. It's okay. We can buff him up. Also buff up the assassin if they're still in the game. But teleport is, uh, is so awesome. So like all the other characters, if they want to go from here to the other side, they'd have to walk all the way around. But us, we can just teleport, and it like the game gets so insanely fast once you get teleport and the amount of mana to sustain it. Watching this brings you a bunch of memories back. I know I used to. Uh, Play Diablo every day after school until like my eyes bled. Woke up, went to school, and all I cared about was like getting home and playing Diablo. I love this game. I still do. It's awesome. Uh, teleport is awesome and it has no cooldown. The the downside is it costs too much mana earlier on. TP for layer three. What? Oh, he wants maggot layer. Oh, he's saying the TP is up for. So now yeah, we go to, from Lost City to Valley of Snakes. There's a bunch of these fire traps, but we can just walk past them. So we go to Cloud Viper Temple, and we need to get to Cloud Viper Temple level two. I sense strong magic within this place. Oops. Uh, what is it? Why? I have to re get used to my keybinds. But if you do want to get antidote potions in town, feel free to do that. Since I'm in a group, I'm not really too worried about it. Although my mana is like really bad. Once we get level 19, the mana becomes a lot better to manage. You still won't be able to teleport. Like instantly everywhere, which is what I would I want to do. But you don't get to do that for a long time, unfortunately. And since I have no mana, maybe I can make better use. How much does this cost? 25. I'll be here for the team play. But, yeah, the most popular classes will definitely, in the very beginning, be Paladin and Sorcerers. In fact, throughout pretty much the entirety of the game, their gear is the most sought after. That just means the other character's gear will be even cheaper, which is a nice thing. Oh, it's gone. I mean, got it. You strange. But that little aura that was under us, the 
one that we have for our mercenaries, that little like blue one that just regenerates HP. The one that is the like yellow, like looks kind of like a sun underneath him. Um, that one is going to increase our fizz damage. But it doesn't matter for us. It doesn't. It won't scale like fireball or anything. Unfortunately though, the mana on kill does not work with teammates, which is kind of annoying. We're picking up anything that we can sell for a decent amount of gold. Um, okay, telekinesis. Oh, this is actually a really cool thing. I should actually hotkey this. I I'm gonna redo my keybinds. I actually prefer to play with controller. I'm just too lazy to plug in. Charges can roll with all resistance, so they're really nice to craft on. Or paladins. There's an item called Ancient's Pledge, and pretty much at level, like, 21, I believe, is when you can use it. Um, you can be maxed out all resistances as a paladin, and you can just face roll the game for, like, difficulty. Um, it's still slower than Sorceress, because Sorceress has teleport. Nothing beats it. Like, there's, like, it's impossible to beat. The Assassin can get pretty close with bursts of speed, because it's just, like, you consistently just have more move speed. Like, what I want to do is just teleport all around, but we won't be able to do it yet. Magic fine till your fingers fall off? Yeah. Ethereal items don't sell for very much, so we just drop them. Some of these, like, if it has plus to any of, like, the, uh, the skills, they can sell for, like, an okay amount. Oh, my gosh, that was right there. Mana after each kill? Ooh, that's actually good. I'm not 100%. Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure it works. But we have to get the kill. I like how violent this game is. Like, you can see the entrails of that thing. That's awesome. I'm so glad they didn't tone down the violence of this game. Dang, where the heck is... I really felt like this is insanely large. Clever Viper Temple level 1 is generally... I would say not that large. I'm gonna consume all of these just so I have room. I wanna pick up an item. Oh, someone finally died. Let's start picking up random stuff. So we click on this. Everyone gets this, so it's no biggie. I want the flawed amethyst if I can get it. Uh, I think we did get it. I'm gonna try to pick up this wolf head if I can as well. Again, I'm just looking for things that might be able to sell for gold. Any any one where it says like plus to a certain skill. Specifically like the wands and stuff, they generally will sell for a little bit more. Also sell your items in act two because they can sell for more. There's like a cap on what you can sell it for. Ethereal items, like I said, yeah, they don't sell for very much generally. Um, so you can see that the sell value is 266. If I identify it, it, it can go up. We have another 5,000. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... What are we, almost level 19. We're like right there. So I really want to see if I can get uh, a leaf. So now that we have these two items, we're going to need to talk to someone. Uh, basically, talk to almost everyone in the town. But I want to see if we can get it. The order welcomes you. Because every time we leave the town, it resets the items. I think this one's on the Pretty much the same. So we just go over here. Walk, go to Bloodmore. Go right back in. You can also teleport into town, but you can't teleport Hello. in town. Ice blast and ice bolt. So yeah, what we can do is do this, and then <laughs> there we go. I don't even know if that's gonna actually be that much faster. Warmth. Ooh, this is good. I mean, ideally you get, like, a lot of things, but this is plus two to warmth, and I'm so down to buy that and craft it off of that one. Perfect. There we go, there we go. We're... They're all just a little good line. Okay. Perfect. Because I didn't want them to start the Arcane Sanctuary, like, area without me. All right, so we're like, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll almost pretty much be able to complete this act in this part of our play session. So, what we're going to do is we're going to craft Leaf. So, if you want to refer to the website, Oops. um... I'll, Try to remember to put it in like the pin comment, but we're gonna craft leaf. So it has to be a staff that has 
two sockets and it's tier and RAL in that order. So we have our RAL rune and we need our tier. So yeah, so it's a tier and then RAL. Remember it has to be in gray text. All right, that's the important thing. So we throw in tier and RAL and it makes leaf. That's three to fire skills. It normally doesn't give five to warmth. It default had two. Um, it gives us some cold resist, which is nice. And it's the mana after kill that's great. It's just the three to fire skills, th uh, three to fire bolt. It's gonna give us more damage. So right now, our damage on fire ball, 50 to 72. Throw this on. I can't use this yet. Oh, that's right. We need one more level. Okay. So let's throw in like all the other stuff over here. This, uh, I'll do this over here so you can, hopefully you guys can see it. Yeah, you can pretty much see it. Um, there, there is like a couple squares here that you can't see, but it's fine. Uh, so we take this and we take the, um, oh, that's right. I put it in here. So we take the Staff of Kings and the, and we get to craft this Herodric Staff. And I, I'm going to put it on my secondary weapon it's over here. So I just have it without me needing to have it. And there we go. So yeah, this is going to be nice. Are they, where are these guys at? Harem, okay. So what you got to do is you got to go to the next area. Oh, thank you so much, Riv. I appreciate the Primarino. Um, Colon closing parenthesis. Parenthesis. Oh, it's because it's a smiley face. But how you doing, mate? So what we're going to do is you normally have to talk to a bunch of people. And they might have done it. And then you go to the harem level one. They're already at harem level two. So I'm just going to ask them for TP. But yeah, now that we've crafted this, our character's going to be much, much, much better. With it five to warmth, we're going to have... Right, well, once we can use it, actually. Yeah, we're gonna have massive amount of mana regen. So we're gonna go to harem level two. And if it doesn't let you enter it in any of these areas, are they like a palace? Oh, so oh, let's go back. One of them hopefully will open up palace. Uh, there we go. So you just you just keep on going down from palace cellar and like the harem, he's got the waypoint. You just keep on going down until you see this um, portal. Oh, good Dallas resurrect, you bet. You bet. That's good. And like once we get, once we hit level 19, oh, our character's so good. Our character's so good. Got this antidote potion. Ooh, these guys are hitting hard. I need to throw lots into vitality. I was kind of just not using my stat points for a while. Just in case we got anything good. We probably weren't gonna get anything good that was gonna require it. But there are sometimes uniques that can drop, but it's it's all RNG if that's gonna happen. So we have another skill point. What are we gonna put it into? We need to start working towards Meteor. So I'm gonna start working our, our way towards that. We can use this now. So 50 to 72, and we get 89 to 116. Like the damage just went insane. And our uh, mana regen went from, uh, right now it's, what is it? 126 right now. And it was 42. <laughs> so it's a huge, huge difference. You le use Leaf Sola. Oh yeah, Spark. It's it's really good. You can use it on Assassin too. Assassins can use it. Uh, druids can use it. Oh, I should probably say. Um, I wish you could hit. I think uh, here for level three. Um, there's a thing that you can do in Diablo three where it's like it pings the map. I wish they added that. That'd be a nice quality of life thing as well. But we also should do the sewers quest because I want to. I want this to be like a complete guide. So hopefully they'll come with us. If not, we can do it by ourselves. Totally fine. See, I love like no class can do this in the very beginning. We're just like, oh, I'm gonna except for sorceress. So you click on the little portal, and now we're in this area. And this area looks wild. Um, so let's if we split two to two, um, because there's eight people in the lobby. Um, this way we can, cause there's four areas and the boss spawns in on one of them. It's random on where he spawns in. And it's so much better if you just split and then you just say my TP. Otherwise, yeah, it's no fun cause it, it makes it literally four times as fast. We have no match though. I have no match box. I actually need to go back into town. 
Unfortunately though, the waypoint is super far from like the portals. In some Diablo mods, they've like changed this, but go talk to her and we'll go talk Today. to this guy. And then um, we could probably get a better bell, but you can do this if you want to be fast with the, uh... oh, you know what? I'm just gonna drink these because all I really need at this point is mana pots, so. There we go. And then also when we do the other boss, if you, I'll save some room for us. I'm gonna throw this over here and I'll, if anyone in my chat would like it, you can have any of the items that like uh, are the hand-me-downs, but that's a good one. Uh, let's see what how much strength this gives us. Oh, there it is. Wait, two strength, two mana? Sure, why not? Yeah, so we have the Arcane Sanctuary. So I believe I was top. And we can just teleport right back. Oh, did he just leave? I mean, I could try to teleport us there. That would be like a, a good thing to do. Oh, did we get it first try? I don't know. It looks like basically there's two stairs that go up. But like, yeah, I'm gonna be awesome and just teleport. And if you get to the end and you don't see it, because it basically, oh, this whole area loops. Hopefully my mercenary won't die. Oh, he's dead now. Ah, dang. I, I opened up a portal though right before I died, which is like, it's... You can see this one else's mercenary died right there. Uh, we can get our mercenary up and we can try to get our corpse. that hopefully i can rehire him. need some help okay so I, I did get a portal up right before i died the reason why i wanted to go for the kills before in, instead of just teleporting away is because i wanted to try to get the items because at, at the end of every one of those areas there is um i'm trying to drag him away so i can get my corpse okay. that was kind of unlucky um, so what I can do right now is, I think it was act two start now. Um, if not, it's no biggie. I'm gonna rejoin our game. Start now. Uh, game is no longer, oh. Um, hopefully I can rejoin the same game. Um, and our corpse will be right in town. I think we joined, no problem. Can be kind of, oops, I don't wanna trade. I just want my corpse. Not in town. Okay, we joined the singing. We got kind of lucky. Sometimes the lobby feels fast. But hello, Blair. How are you doing? How am I enjoying it? I'm enjoying this game, but I, I'm, a, I'm a Diablo like two fan. And, like I've, I've been wanting to play this game for so long. Uh, I just wish that they did have mod support day one. Um, I don't know if they're gonna actually allow us to like really have it. We can also get a better belt. Um, that we'll have another row of potions. In return, we lose the three mana and poison resist. It's worth it, in my opinion. So now we'll have three, which is another four potions, which is actually really helpful. Uh, let's see, what do we have? Because we can definitely get some better uh, things. Like we can get better gloves for 900. I mean, it's a small amount of stats, but it all like adds up. Uh, we can't get a, really a, anything else at the moment. We're good. So let's go back to Arcane Sanctuary. We know it's not at the top anyway, so that's fine. Um, this place actually distorts reality. Fascinating. That's not the top of it. Oh, this is actually kind of tough with all these people. Oh, we didn't get our mercenary, actually. It's probably better if we do it in the because this area can be kind of rough but I want to get my mercenary back up first. Do I have any Diablo commands? Um, the only thing that I would have, like, that I have set up right now for, like, a command, because I don't have any build guides up yet. I do plan to do build guides. In fact, I have every character level 99 for offline, but I want to do an online playthrough because I just loaded in, like, older saves, because you can do that. You can also use hero editors, which is another fun thing to, to make things that are, like, are not possible. So, oh, it's square. Okay, so they actually did the, um, did they, he says new TP. So let's hopefully get the TP because we actually need to go through there. Not from Canyon of the Magi. 
So hopefully there is, okay, so he said me, so NG is the guy we're looking for. Oh, we could just go through. I really want to go back and just, so this way you guys can see. So basically they've already killed the boss and sometimes it'll happen. But basically we get over here, we kill the boss and they're going to show you a bunch of symbols. So you click on this and it'll tell you the, the false symbol. Uh, or the correct symbol. I don't know why I want to click on it. Okay, there it goes. So it's got square. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look for the square tomb of Tal Rasha. So this one's a little moon on the uh, the door, and there's uh, like seven tombs. It's a little like sun looking thing. This one is two arrows down. This is a triangle. But yeah, the teleport in the very beginning with the mana cost is insane. Oh, what, did we just pass it? Are they already in the uh, tomb? No, none of them are in the tomb. Mana is just something you're going to have to deal with for a while. But we do get six mana on kill. A decent amount. Are they in? No. Okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, he can't join? Uh, so, sometimes what happens with this quest is you can't go through here, which is really annoying. If you can't go through, that means you didn't go through the Arcane Sanctuary, like, properly. Like, I was surprised I can just go there. Because I was I was close enough when they killed the, the boss, and if you weren't, yeah, it's actually really annoying. You have to be close enough. Um, I don't know exactly our distance, but there's a boss. He, he's called the Summoner. In fact, I really wanted to show you guys him. Maybe I'll show you guys him later. He's not really that big of a deal, but he'll just like laugh. And he's actually one of the characters from Diablo 1. In fact, the character that we killed in the um, very beginning to get the quest for the mercenary is actually the rogue from Diablo 1. And the warrior is Diablo. Oh, any tips for someone new to Diablo? Yeah, I have a full uh, guide over on my YouTube channel. And we're actually like working on it right now. We're actually on part three. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to ask away. But it's if you go over there, Blair, um, you'll be able to see it. But yeah, if you don't know anything about this game, it's not the easiest game to hop into. And that's why we're doing like a full like guide. And then at level 27, we get another pretty nice item that we're going to craft. That will give us plus one to all skills. Oh, he's saying my TP for the summer. See, there's some of them are still having issues with that. I need more mana, though. Probably going to have to go back and buy mana. This is actually completely normal to do in the game. It's like, you go back to town, buy mana. And go back to town, buy mana. It's just... That's why I like to put a lot of points in warmth. That's why I got excited when I saw that thing had so much in the warmth. Later, you won't really have to worry about it, though. So you can right-click to buy, or you can do this, and it just is so much faster. Oh, we're out of gold. Good thing we grabbed that helm, though. But yeah, you can hold shift, right-click, and then take off your belt. Put it back on, and it makes things much faster. But I do want to see what this amulet does. Half freeze duration is actually not bad. It's 5k gold, though. Like, usually gold, it doesn't matter in the health, but early on, it does matter, for sure. Um, wait, why is it not in the Tomb of Tower Rush? Okay. What I could do if I wanted to be super fast is teleport right over there. But if we die and it's the wrong way, then that's no good. 
because then you have to say, hey guys, can you go over here? Or you can rejoin the game. It was actually a good thing that I did die, so I was able to show you guys. But the end of each one of the um, Arcane Sanctuary areas, there's like three chests that you can open up. And I wanted to open them all up, but we died. Let's go slam more points into... Uh, well, well, actually, I'm going to slam more into energy just because... I don't like dealing with low mana. You can put a bunch of points into mana. Rack, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it, mate. Raccoon, raccoon, raccoon. Oh, it even has, I didn't know that it would actually do that when you do the emojis. Thank you, mate. 14 months. Y'all found the tomb? Yes, sir. I'm gonna make another TP. I think they figured it out. Like I said, it, it's just something that you'll have to enter if you kill the. Uh, if you weren't in range of the summoner. He's got his tank. Everyone picked up those potions fast. So on this boss, what we do want to pick up, and I'm going to pick this up now, because later if we just enter it really fast, I might not have the chance to go back. So what I want to pick up right now is going to be a Hello. few There's nothing um, the right potion can't cure. thawing potions. It was, it's going to give us cold resistance, and we can pop multiple to increase the duration. And what we're also going to do is get our Good guy evening. back. Oops. Oh, we already have our guy. Okay. We're good. Because when you die, your mercenary dies, unfortunately. Okay. And one thing that's nice with teleport, if they are super far away, you can catch right back up. So this was like the wrong area. Oh, someone even typed it in. Bring some thawing potions. Yeah, it is good indeed. You can buy them for the whole party. I'll draw, I only really need like one, to be honest, and I'll be, I should be okay. We have, we have a decent amount of cold res uh, because of uh, leaf. And yeah, it'll be about, yeah, about another like five minutes for this act to be complete. And then we're going to go into act three. This is a nice little group though. But we'll also get another skill that we can play around with. I know for some people they want like a new skill like all the time. Fireball, well, it can be an end game skill. Uh, but if you didn't like it, hey, uh, the, the point of this build was to go hybrid. I personally think cold fires, uh, any, any build will always have cold because cold is like arguably one of the best for a lot of content. Lightning is probably the least favorite. I, I never really go lightning. The reason why is it's very expensive and I, I don't feel like it's very, very powerful. Everyone goes fireball in the very beginning though because it's so cheap. Here it is, so let's go over here. But like, see how the other guy is like walking? Okay, so what we gotta do, hopefully I can do it. So we click on this, you put in the stat that's completed and you hit accept. We're also gonna pop a thawing potion for ourselves and give one to our mercenary. We'll throw uh, another one on the ground. If they want it, they can take it. If they don't want it, it's okay. No, no biggie, I'll just grab them then. But you know, I'll be, I'll be a cool person and we'll, we'll share. Oh, I'm gonna actually swap weapons over here. So he will freeze you. So what you want to do, actually we should use static field. So we do this, and then just keep on clicking. And we see if we get any of the items. Oh, we, got, oh, we didn't get any. <laughs> you see how it is when, when you're grouped up? Like, 
I really think that controller would have a huge advantage because it, it, you don't have to actually click on it. It's just like it's like whatever's around you. Um, so you'll see Tyrael. He's a really cool looking guy. This is the first time you get to see him. And this is where the uh, demo ends for the uh, alpha and beta. But uh, now we're going to next act three, which is actually going to be vengeance. the next act. So what you got to do is just talk to everyone. You can talk to Misha first. I believe the correct order is Misha since you're right next to it. And then he'll say, Jern uh, tells me I should take you east. And then we go talk to Jern. He's going to say something. And we're going to go to the next act. But hello, Fred. How you doing? All right, so we go over here and go talk to Jaren. And then we go all the way back to Mischief and then we can sail east and that's gonna wrap up our part three of our playthrough, which would is act two. So we talk to Mischief and then we sail east. And then we're gonna skip on all the cutscenes because I know some people don't like them. I haven't actually seen all the cutscenes yet. And we are in act three. Our mercenaries just kind of like wandering and getting stuck. But yeah, Act 3 um, is actually really cool looking. Uh, but there is still a quest in Act 2. Uh, let's see if they want to do it. Because a, a lot of people haven't done it, and I know I didn't do it. So we're actually... Yeah, we could do it. It's, it's probably going to only take like 10 minutes-ish at most. Um, but I'll show you guys kind of a, a little bit of a secret as well. Oh yeah, a, a, a Diablo walkthrough. And yes, I remember that riff. Yeah, it's, it's doing good. So um, we're gonna throw stat points. I'm just gonna throw them energy. You can you can throw a decent amount of points in energy. It's totally fine. Um, we can also mess around with firewall. I'm just messing around with skills just to show you guys more skills. But if you go to the sewers, there was that area by the mercenary that you can enter in. Um, and they're already starting the next quest. But I, I just want to do this because I want to be done with this quest. So we have uh, firewall. Let's actually use enchant again. On, on a mercenary. Uh, but yeah, we can mess around with Fireball. Oh, another thing I want to show you is Telekinesis. You can actually access the waypoint faster, but um, yeah, there really isn't anything that we're going to get other than Energy Shield, which I will have to put three points in that, and then I'll be at level 24. So we got really lucky. So there's another interest in the sewers. We got lucky and we found level two really fast. But here's Firewall. The AI isn't really like the, the brightest in Diablo uh, too. So you can just throw Firewall and they'll just stand in it. But the thing with Firewall is it does have a like a cooldown on when you can activate it again. But if you like Firewall, you can actually play with Firewall through throughout normal. Um, yeah, we can just do it like this. We'll press one. I'm gonna throw one of these up just in case. But I'll show you some cool tricks with Telekinesis because there's a lot of cool things. Sorcerer just has like the best like starter, like. You're just so much faster because you can access the waypoint system without even being near it. Okay, so we got sewers level two. Uh, I'm gonna do this because my TP sewers two. Where are we? Uh, I mean, I, they're they're starting the next act, which is fine. I don't I don't mind. I'm gonna leave this game after. Um, I'm gonna create a game called like Act Three or something like that. Or I mean, I could stick around with them, but. Because of the play session, I kind of want to do this in a little like hour burst. So one, I don't burn myself out of this character uh, too fast because I like doing these like you know every every day. It's fun. So a lot of people usually after you complete an act for whatever reason they just leave. I I don't know why. It's just a thing in Diablo. It's always kind of been that way. Like you complete the act, okay, time to leave. Even if the group was good, it doesn't matter. It's time to leave. Oh, we got a bunch of mana pots. Nice. Rejuve chip skulls. Nice. Chip skulls are pretty good for a lot of other classes. Because it gives you a uh, leech. I mean, a lot, of, a lot of my friends are already like level 90. And I'm just like, I'm doing this like walkthrough because I, I want to do it too. Because, like, I genuinely like doing these little tutorials. It makes me feel accomplished. But there's just so much to learn. A lot of like, you know, small tips. Even though some of my friends and I have been playing this game for so long. There's just so much content with this game that's not explained at all. But look at our mana region. It's just so good right now since we've got the uh, shrine. Yeah, we can mess around Firewall. I'm actually kind of digging this. But later we get Meteor at level 24. Meteor is like pretty nasty for like how good it is. 
Especially, oh, we got a belt, a unique belt. Oh, no, this is a set belt. What is it? Hussars. So it's 20 to life, cold resist, and it's got double, um, like, belt rows. So that's going to be really nice. I actually think on my assassin I have the boots, so I might actually mess around with that later. Like, I might uh, transfer it over, because uh, how set items work, the more pieces you have, um, the more bonuses you get. First set item. So this is Radamant, he reses stuff, but if you throw a fire wall on him... Firewall in Diablo 1 is actually really powerful. It's still pretty good in here, but in Diablo 1 in particular, it is so nasty. It actually damages yourself too. Got the book of skill. I can't carry anymore. What else was there? The wolf head? I want this for gold. Uh, give me plus one to Raven. That's all we really needed. Anything with plus to, to whatever skill is good. Um, another thing is, is that it will lower the uh, cost of everything. So it just gives us a skill point. Nothing too big. Uh, I will need to eventually grab this. Because um, I, I definitely want mana shield. Although our mana right now is not good enough to really sustain it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, what do we have? Uh, we get that 24, so it's what, one, two, three. So we have one more into fire ball, so I can still get some damage right now. So we complete that quest, and that's going to wrap up Act 2. In Act 2, we actually, uh, do all of the quests. Uh, so in Act 1, we actually did all the quests as well. Um, but they're not, like all required in fact in act three there will be also some well we're gonna definitely do this um you used to not have to do a lot of the quests but then they started making you do it but that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for um act two we've done all the quests we did everything and we are now in act three and in act three there's going to be obviously more quests and more content but act three specifically is gonna have a lot of these very tiny areas and if you happen to follow this guide and you're not playing the sorceress you're gonna regress it just a little bit, but it's okay. It's just that there's so many areas, like I don't know where they're at, they're all in the spider forest right now. Uh, the reason why is just because there's like a very small gap that you, if you just don't see it, you're gonna have to walk all the way around. And if you're sorceress, you just bam, teleport. But this is another trick I wanted to show you because this is another skill that we got, but I haven't used it. Oh, you know what we actually haven't used? We haven't used blaze, but like it's, blaze is terrible. I showed you guys Inferno already, which is this one. Oh, whoops, that's a, uh, there we go, Inferno. So this is Inferno. But what Blaze does is we activate it, and I don't know how long it lasts. Seven seconds. It just makes it so there's fire where we walk. If you've played Diablo 3, it's like uh, fire walkers. Um, unfortunately, it's not really useful. If the duration was really long, it could be good. Uh, maybe. It'd be interesting to make a melee sorceress, which you can actually make a melee bear sorceress and you like go crazy with enchant. But, um, it is technically another option, uh, but this is one thing that's really cool. You can do a lot of cool things with telekinesis. You can pick up gold. Can't you can't pick either. up items, but what you can do is you can flip it up in the air yeah, so yeah. someone else can't get it. <laughs> uh, and then you can also do this. This is one of the best features. You can you can do this, and like you actually beat so many of the classes. I'm actually curious if, how far away it goes. Oh, okay. So you'd have to, I think you have to have it slightly on screen. So you can actually access the waypoints without even being there. And that's really helpful for act one because you're like relatively close by. And the reason why this can be good is if you want to, I mean, maybe if your PC is really good, I don't actually, I don't know. I think it's still probably faster. Um, but yeah, there's just so many like weird tips that you can do. Like I didn't know about that telekinesis one for a really long time, but like being able to do this and go yes. back. And also keep in mind, you can get a much better leaf. Uh, like this is one that we just happened to get. Um, this one goes plus one in telekinesis, which really isn't useful. You only need one point into it. But what we're looking for is again, two socketed staffs with fire ball, fire bolts, um, and a warmth, any combination of those. You technically, I don't even know if you can get a meteor here. Probably not. Uh, but um, later down the line, we, we will respec. But right now, um, Leaf is going to be like our go-to. There really isn't any upgrades until like level 27, which uh, will be later down the line. Unless we get, like, there are technically upgrades that we can get, but not like a guaranteed upgrade. Because Rune Wars are like the only like guaranteed easy way to get certain things. But 
picked up a couple items. Let's finish it off with identifying some items. This is not really worth anything. The extra gold, because uh, gold is pretty much a worthless thing. There are builds where people get an insane amount of gold, and they will actually... Actually, I'm going to take that waypoint real quick, uh, since he said he's found the spider cavern. Um, unless they got the waypoint. Uh, you know, I'm pretty sure... They, uh, yeah. Do you see how, like I said, everyone, for whatever reason, leaves at the end of the act? There's there's three people. Here. Well, including me, there's three people. But this is where we're going to go end it off for part two. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like on a way out. And I'll see you guys in part four. Very soon. Take care. Peace.